Well, what's up guys? Welcome back or welcome. This is your first visit. My name is Matt Samolski. I'm Matt the Car Guy on this channel. I do car reviews. Guys, check this out. 2021 Ford Broncos finally here finally on my channel i waited a long time might be the last youtuber to actually get to review it but i waited for the right spec and here it is this is the badlands edition with a few modifications but we're gonna get to it and thanks to ford of port richie i'm gonna take you on the tour of this beautiful vehicle we're gonna check out the exterior interior we'll pop the hood see what powers up this thing finally i'm gonna jump inside of it show you some of the cool and interesting features inside and then there's a little obstacle course in here a little mild or very light off-road that we're going to take it through so if you're ready let's go Let's check out the front of it. Look how high it is. That's because this particular one has been risen a little bit, about four inches, and it does have those massive 35 inch tires. But nevertheless, let's check out the front of it. The hood, you know, very nicely designed. I gotta tell you, it's kind of a strange design because it raises on both sides right here and it raises right and towards the back of the hood, towards the windshield right here. And I'll give you a little bit of a close up of it. Other than that, it's pretty flat in here. And it stops right here with this grill now some of those broncos have this grill which is that shiny black this one is more of a grayish color it's not as shiny which i like i don't know why ford would come up with this piano black grill on some of them what also you can see bronco right here no ford badging right out here you can see those lights beautiful daytime running lights those halos right here and the special light signature if you get followed by a bronco at night you know that that's what it is if you know that this is the light signature of it one cool thing on the hood right here which you can see is those two handles if you will or tie downs and basically what are they for and well i'm not sure i read somewhere that they could serve multiple purposes one of them is let's say if you have something tied to your roof rack which this one doesn't have like something longer maybe a paddle board or canoe you can actually secure those with the strap downs right here into those tie downs right here the other thing is you can actually put like a metal wire metal line and connect it again to the roof rack if it had one and that will protect the hood and it will protect the windshield from getting the branches or anything like this smash through it if you take it off-road now what makes a typical off-roader or makes a good off-roader is Okay. this is not a cheap plastic this is an actual metal front bumper and look how tall it is it's got great approach departure break over angles typical for an um, off-roader it does have those heavy duty recovery hooks so if you do get stuck right here you can get pulled up well hopefully not by a regular that wouldn't be a good thing but for by another 
<laughs> off-roader that's with you on the trail you can install a winch in here and then you can winch yourself out as well so this is the front of it love the design love the color combination of this vehicle let's move to right, guys, so let's check out what's underneath this hood right here i gotta tell you this is a big surprise surprise because for some reason i was under the impression that the four-door broncos were only available in the six-cylinder engine and here it is this one is actually a four-cylinder 2.3 liter engine turbocharged of course 300 horsepower 325 pound-feet of torque now i was thinking that this would be the 2.7 liter engine 330 horsepower 415 pound-feet of torque i gotta tell you i was thinking that it was a 2.7 when i was driving it because i didn't check it out before why would i right that would be like too obvious and i thought hey this six cylinder is not bad so that speaks volume of this four cylinder engine now the acceleration especially with this big heavy tire wasn't the greatest but that's not why you buy an off-roader like this it was substantial it was very it was quick but not you know super fast so 2.3 liter engine this is the one in here both of these engines can be made at two and 10 speed automatic transmission actually that's the only transmission choice in here with the four door now with the two door you have the option of picking a manual transmission which is pretty darn awesome for those of you who like to have control of it now the one thing that i don't like about it and okay if you're spending 50 grand on the vehicle this one should not exist those prop sticks are things of the past okay for get rid of them people don't like them well let's look at the side of this vehicle i gotta tell you i mean it's a little bit dirty but she can't ding me for it i couldn't resist to go in some mud as you can see on the tires and we're gonna do it again in this video too so you're gonna get to see of how this vehicle handles off-road a little bit now cyber orange as i mentioned this is the color of this vehicle you can see those extended fender flares those are plastic and they cover nicely the standard factor wheels now these ones right here are not standard this is optional equipment that was added by the dealers nice 35 inch tires on here it does have a four inch lift on this particular model so you can see it sits up higher but you know what's standard on this vehicle is everything else nothing else has been upgraded on it i gotta tell you the one thing that i like about this is where that mirrors are placed the side mirrors are right in front of the door so they're not part of the door the doors can be taken off and if you take them off the mirrors stay on the car so you don't have to worry about putting some um, mickey mouse mirrors on the side <laughs> like some of the jeepers have to do unfortunately you know jeep wrangler is still one of my favorite vehicles and i was very hesitant of doing this because i thought that this is not even close but it is i mean it's very nice it's very capable vehicle so far so this is a soft top now the soft top can be folded fairly easy it does have the two clamps inside i'll show you once we get in and then it folds once and then it folds twice but you do have to take out the back windows in order to get it folded down okay as far as the doors now it does have the power door locks and it does have the ability to lock and unlock them without touching the key so it's kind of like the keyless go whatever other manufacturers are calling it but you can get in there another thing that's interesting about this and it's pretty cool is that the windows right here the the, the doors they have the frameless design and the reason for it is because if you lower the window and take the door off they take up so much less room than the ones that have the framed design now the drawback to it is from what i heard now i haven't heard that on the road yet but i heard some people complaining about the extensive wind noise because it doesn't have the frame but i guess you know it's give or take here and there okay so you can see it does have this rock guard right here that's also metal so that's for off-roading it does have skid plates underneath this vehicle therefore to protect the bottom of it so if you do want to take it off-road this is the vehicle to do it with now i gotta tell you it's a square design it's as square as they get and i love it if you've been following my channel for a while you know i love square cars and this is certainly not an exception love the look of it okay this is pretty much it on the side of it. we're gonna move on to the back and see how much room there is inside of the back and how does it open because that's a pretty cool thing too 
we'll check this out. Now you can see the size of this tire. Now this is huge, right? It is an 18 rim, so 18 inch rim. The tire is 35 by 12 and a half, so 12 and a half inches wide, 35 inches tall. So it's a pretty meaty, pretty aggressive tire that you can go through almost any terrain with. And the rest of it, is the car and the skills of the driver because you can look at it. Now the tire is mounted on the back just like many of the other off-roaders because you can't fit this huge tire inside without taking up an almost entire space in here. What's nice about it also, it does have this rear view camera and it's actually pretty good. It's pretty clear. This one is equipped also with a tow hitch towing capacity they said about 3500 to 4000 pounds so that's enough to tow a smaller you know camper or maybe a smaller boat in here and then you do have those led lights in here the led lights which are kind of shaped if you think in the this one is reversed letter b okay this one is the regular letter b LED lights with the reverse lights and the turn signals built right in it. Nice, visible, big. Now, just kind of like the Wrangler, we've seen it also on the G-Wagon, the exposed hinges right out here. You can have, you see this Bronco logo in here and again, those recovery hooks in the back. Now also, this is metal as well as in the front and it does have the step stools in here so you can step on it if you need to put something on top of it. An additional brake light is also on top of the tire. How do you open this thing? Well, it's simple. You pull the handle, you open it up, and it opens actually pretty nice and wide so you can see what's inside of here. Now, I'm going to show you what's inside, but I'm also going to show you of how to open this uh, part right here because, you know, it's kind of hard to throw stuff in here with this little pass-through that you have in here. So let's check it out. Okay, not a huge fan of it because it's not ideal, but at least you get an additional room if you want to put something in here. Well, let me grab the camera and show you how the rest of it looks. All right, so let's check this out. Well, first of all, I mean, it's pretty basic. You know, if you look at the sides of it, beautiful color, I gotta tell you. Accessory ready, okay? I'm not sure what that means, but we can probably look it up. And what's inside of here? As I said, you know, this one adds probably another foot of loading uh, area in here so you can put some bigger stuff in here. But I gotta tell you, it does have a lot more room than in the Wrangler. And from what I've been told, this is where you can actually put your doors. So the doors should fit in here, okay? Probably not the ideal thing, probably will get scratched up, but I think they come with a little baggie for them, okay? A little bit hiding compartment right here, nothing too special, okay? Now you have your um, flat tire kit, you can uh, uh, raise your vehicle. I'm not sure if this is big enough to raise the already raised Bronco. Okay, the seats fold down 60-40 split, so you can see if you need more room, you can still have even more room in the back area and hill. 12 volt power outlet, little LED light with a little tiny little Bronco logo in here, which is pretty cool. And I think these are structural too, because this is pretty strong. So if you have the top off, the entire top off, which can come off, I mean, in case of anything, this will protect the vehicle and the structural integrity of it all right so cool thing let's move on well all right guys let's check out how much room there is inside of this bronco in the back seat now i gotta tell you the only problem with this especially with the lifted vehicle is getting in here because this is quite a step now good thing there's some grab handles in here and you can certainly use them to get in and out of this car but you know once i'm in there's plenty of room in here for this type of vehicle. Now I'm comparing it, of course, to the Wrangler, and it does have more room than, than the Wrangler. It's wider and it's longer and it's taller, so, okay. Well, and the interior, it's kind of cool. It's, it's uh, utilitarian with a little touch of luxury. Well, I'm not gonna tell you about it. I'm just gonna show it to you. How about that? All right, well, let's check this out. Let's check this one out right here. I gotta tell you, uh, panels, two color gray and black 
okay what do we have this is soft plas plastic this is soft plastic hard plastic in here so okay just okay i wouldn't give it like a huge thumbs up what do we have this this is not functional at all but it's a pretty cool looking i think all right what do we have here maximum weight seven pounds attach mold straps okay so i guess there's something else that we can attach to it and then there's a regular mat net in here now we do have the all season uh, mats in here and right here is where you control your windows they have the usb-c and the usb ports which actually they thought of everything because i do have a usb-c some people still have the usb um, regular uh, cable and then we have the regular power outlet for 110 volt as far as the interior it is wider okay and i think it's nicer a point up come on than the wrangler but that's just me okay what do we have in here oh we do have some cup holders here okay and this leather is stitched with this similar cyber orange thread in here which is pretty pretty darn awesome all right let's move to the front all right so i'm gonna move up here and as you can see there's a little lock and unlock type of deal so we can actually open the door without having to press any buttons or unlock it and i have the window down for a reason because i want you to hear the sound of it with the window down okay it's nothing special it's nothing crazy and i gotta tell you i know why because they wanted to make the doors lighter than normally they would on the truck i think at least so it's easier to take off it's easier to store the front panel right here is very similar to the back one okay also lots of hard plastic now this one has a little bit of a design on this grab handle grab handle right here in the front really nice this is solid i like the way that it feels in here and okay we're gonna jump in but before we do that let's check it out okay look at this the seat electric seat control this is pretty cool it even does have the lumbar support unfortunately it's on the front and back it's not up and down in here and we do have okay the mirror light controls in here then we have the light controls and then we have the dimmer switches for the dashboard dashboard i gotta tell you this is something that you have to see we're gonna do that next all right guys so let's check it out because a cool thing happens when you enter this bronco right here so we gotta go and look straight at this big screen right here that dwarfs the one that you can find in the wrangler and see what appears it builds up to a bronco now there's another animation going on in this middle screen right here that has some shooting stars in here beautiful scenery that tells you that you're getting in some serious off-roader guys i'm gonna start this vehicle up because it's getting toasty in here and where you started you started see engine start and stop button it has the same kind of design like you see on the light in the bronco right here now okay so first of all this asked me if i want to use my android auto okay and I, I connected my phone in here so it is wireless android auto the phone is in my uh, pocket right here and here's how it looks okay you can have the entire screen navigation basically or not okay but it's divided nice bright simple to use that's what i like about this infotainment system since we're on here so i don't jump back and forth in here let's check out what else is here so this is android auto but if we want to go to the regular audio now you have you know several different options am fm sirius fm android auto you can either have the pandora if you'd like to okay navigation system this one comes with the navigation this particular model on a list of the equipment in it and this is the ford's navigation system so that's pretty cool right okay nice bright display okay search destinations apps apple carplay android auto find mobile apps different settings okay what do we have here vehicle that's where i usually go to see if there's any cool features in here now i haven't really played around with it too much so 
what you can see okay so 30 minutes uh, max idle rear occupant alert that's basically when you're leaving the vehicle it tells you hey did you check and see if there's anybody left in the car very very important because so many people leave kids in their car or dogs or both i mean that's just crazy my key you can program the key and basically have create my key see uh, you can have let's say your teenager and you don't want them to blast the music you can limit the volume on the radio you can limit the speed that they can go with etc etc so you can do other settings um, windows they're here okay remote open in case you can open the windows remotely wipers ambient light i didn't even know it has it okay so it's got the full brightness obviously it is too bright outside for us to see it uh, locks etc etc we're not going to go through all of this car features okay driver's assistance lane keep assist pre-collision assist rear view camera park aid the cameras are awesome i'll show you this too cross traffic alert driver alert so it does have a full package of driver's assistance feature so features towing zone lighting okay let's see and turn this on or off all zones oh okay it's pretty cool i guess we're gonna see it when i get out of this vehicle at night but not right now um and that is it this is the new system that's available for ford right now you can see that the android auto is connected so on the right hand side you see uh, that the radio that i have set up but you can have navigation trips fuel economy off-road status uh, zone lighting let's see the off-road status and let's see okay that just basically tells you right now i'm in the rear wheel drive and i can switch that right at the bottom of here and i'm going to show it to you because it's kind of cool but before we look down let's look up and see what is in here okay all the way up first of all i told you that i'm going to show you off uh, those latches for the uh top right here okay so you open it up on both sides and then you basically slide it open at least for the for front portion of it to put it all the way you know it takes a little bit more effort anyways what else is here you see auxiliary buttons one two three four five six six auxiliary buttons none of them works right now because there's no extra in here but the, they're pre-wired which means that you can put up to six different auxiliary uh, items like light bars so winch etc whatever you want to put in here that you can program into these auxiliary switches pretty cool looking okay kind of like in the fighter jet you know like you've seen on all of them what else do we have in here you have the regular light and is there is something here no that's just a dead button in here and the regular mirror and here okay now we have now in some of the higher models you have like this accessory camera adapter which would be kind of cool because i could put my gopro in here and you know take it for a spin which i'm going to do anyways but it's going to be a different angle and see what's going on see how the vehicle records you know some of the off-road trails and what do we have in here this is basically for your off-roading in here so you have the sway bar disconnect right you have the front diff lock rear diff lock and this is your like off-road mode where it locks one wheel when you're in the, any of the off-road modes and basically you can do a complete 180 with it which i'm going to try to do and then you can turn off your traction control and put your hazards on right as far as the design of it it is definitely a rugged design and i'm glad to inform that ford actually used some higher quality materials that i remember them putting in some of the cars now it's still hard plastic okay i wish it was a little bit softer it would make this car so much better okay bronco right in here now do you have a regular yes you do have your regular glove box in here what do you have some kind of goodies in here comes with the Bronco that's probably a toolkit to remove something maybe the doors just a little toolkit probably like I said for your doors to remove the doors and comes with it so you don't forget it all right let's move on to the bottom on here so you have your volume you have your cameras so let's check out the cameras okay this is your front view camera right here okay and this is your top view camera so this is a 360 which is pretty cool 
and then you can turn off your parking assist you can turn it off and you have your volume tune button so that's for your radio but look at this the cameras are pretty cool now i'm going to put it in reverse okay so we can see the rear view camera as well okay now this is the rear view camera it might look just like the front one because there's a tree in the back three in the front as you can see one in here one in here okay and um in this beautiful place by the gulf of mexico which is awesome by the way getting off topic again matt all right let's look at this automatic climate control very nice it cools the vehicle down really quickly okay it draws some power though and it does have a heated seats three stage heated seats it doesn't have ventilated at least not on this model um, but it does here's your uh, fan control um, and you know that's pretty much it now you do have usb-c and the usb um, some of the higher models i heard do have the charging pad this the badlands doesn't have it what does it say in here that it is proudly built at michigan assembly plant now i added that proudly but it says design and engineer in dearborn michigan built at michigan assembly plant you do have cup holders okay and then you do have your gear shifter okay nice bronco logo in here now this is manual gear shifting in here so if you put it in the manual mode you can do that and the manual mode goes in here okay so you don't have the pedal shifters you have the shifter on the side okay before we go to the goat and go farming now we can see what else is in here the controls for the windows are right on in the middle in here so front windows rear windows as well as the mirror controls are in here because if we take the doors out you won't be able to control the mirrors if that was on the door so smart thinking right and then of course we have the goat modes okay greatest of all time kidding that means goes over all terrain right that's basically what ford says so we have two wheel drive high that's basically our normal driving four wheel drive high maybe a little bit you know slippery conditions and stuff like this then you have your four automatic and four low okay and then this button right here trail control enabled use button to set speed so you can basically set speed in this vehicle is basically just gonna go in the crawl mode in here so what happens when you move to those modes okay when we have this vehicle right here okay let's see let's move it slippery mud ruts sand okay those are like this four by four shift in progress so what happens if you have use off-road only so now we have the rear diff lock and this is one part of the pre-programmed mode right you can control it manual if you'd like to but this is the pre-programmed mode so it gets in the uh, rear wheel drive rear, rear diff lock is locked and then it's a four wheel drive and each mode does a little bit something different right sand okay that tells you okay same thing basically and go to Baja this is probably what do you think is this kind of like a Baja terrain this might be a little bit of a Baja terrain we have a little bit of a mud in here look at this how beautiful that almost sunset is right here there's probably going to be a kite surfer passing by and we're here in this beautiful Bronco hey stop dreaming let's get back to it all right so now what we have here is use off-road on so you get the drill you have several different drive modes in here now ford decided to to make this like a little bit different than mostly everything now this part right here you can see this is like almost analog well it's not but it's kind of a different screen inside of here and very minimum thing so there's only a miles per hour in here and then there's a temperature and then of course at the bottom in here you have traction control off and then you have your gears and this a customizable screen in here uh, you can go through several different settings okay so battery voltage let's say transmission temperature etc etc oil turbo boost gauges okay tire pressure power distribution pitch and roll that's basically our off-road modes in here now you can select a different menus right so you can have trip fuel navigation you can put the navigation in here if you'd like to 
uh, my home previous destination etc okay my view that's your custom view that you can set it up and, and select it as your custom view phone audio settings so whatever you want to put in here that's what it's going to display i'm just going to leave it like this because it's pretty cool so it gives us the turbo boost i'm actually going to probably do it to pitch and lean not that i'm going to go over any of the extreme terrain pitch and roll but uh, that's what i like to have and then another cool thing when you put it in any of the off-road modes it's gonna turn on your front camera and it's gonna stay on okay so it's like watching TV so not only you don't have to have like anybody guiding you, especially if you're on the trail then people usually have a spotter right somebody that can uh, probably tell you hey go a little bit right a little bit left because you don't see what's going on in here now this is the top down view from your basically front grill and as I told you when I was telling you about those little handles right here those can be used as markers for basically the end of the vehicle which is kind of exciting so all right well i'm super excited to take this for a spin so this is the interior of it i like it i think it's uh very promising did we talk about the steering wheel no okay well, let's talk about the steering wheel steering wheel multifunction steering wheel bunch of buttons on both sides and the bronco logo in the middle that's about it right well you have the volume control you have the lane keep assist you have the cruise control that's what you control in here radio phone and the screen menu right here that's what you control on the right hand side leather wrapped steering wheel nice to the touch okay i would like to maybe have it a little bit of a richer feel in here but hey it is what it is so we're not going to change that if you're ready i'm ready you know i'm excited because this is this tiny little off-road trail maybe not even a trail but we're gonna do the best of it and see if we can actually uh you know go over some of this mud in here okay uh, as you can see i'm like going back and forth all right first of all i love the size of this vehicle and this is normally where a lot of cars would get stuck, right? Uh, we're gonna put it in the four high right now. So this is just for, everything is unlocked. This is just for the regular little bit of an off-roading, all right? And you can see, okay, those tires really have no issues with getting this, getting some traction in here. So awesome. <laughs> and this is really the time where I could use a friend to help me with recording instead of just resetting the camera to a different position. All right, but we're going to do that really quick. Um, you know, I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's like nothing to this vehicle. And obviously, this is not a real, you know, off-road course. But some of the little places, some of the little cars might have an issue going through it and certainly not the case with this you know but i gotta tell you it feels pretty confident going through some of those uh, mud pits right here even in the regular uh, if we put it like in the automatic mode okay which is basically gonna check it rock crawl now we're not going to do a rock crawl because there's no rocks in here but you can see okay there's pretty cool mud pits right in here okay all right guys so you know let's go over some pricing of this Bronco well first of all I got a really 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 bad news for you because for those of you that haven't ordered one but uh, uh, want to order one unfortunately right now Ford order bank is closed so you can't really order them until maybe another month or so so they want to ramp up the production to uh, kind of um, you know get all of the cars that were ordered already in production and then they're going to reopen it back up so when i was talking to the manager over at fort of uh, uh, port ritchie he told me it might be another month or so and then once you place an order this is a bad part because it's probably going to be about 18 months before you get it give or take now uh, of course 
you know, depending on your pocket. If you have the unlimited supply of money, or uh, maybe not unlimited, but if you are willing to spend a lot more than what the MSRP of this vehicle is, I'm sure you can find them on the secondary market. I'm sure you can find them once somebody that ordered it decides not to take it. Maybe they're gonna resell it to you. Maybe they're gonna say to the dealer, hey, I don't want it. You do whatever you want with this. Then the dealerships are gonna sell it. I have a feeling at a profit too. Um, so I don't think that these are as readily available. I know these are not as readily available as one would like to. And you know, quite frankly, that's a bummer because they're so freaking cool, right? They're awesome, awesome, awesome vehicles. Now, as far as the um, different trim levels, okay? So Ford website, it's got a really nice configurator, uh, at least at the time of this filming, which is Labor Day, basically it's, uh, uh, you can go on the Ford's website and say, hey, uh, Ford Bronco, and uh, it's gonna tell you of which trim levels are available. So we're not gonna go in details because each of them has several different options that you can add to it and uh, the, the the configurations can be changed so let's say the sasquatch package can be you know this much money on the base one but a lot less on the top of the line which i, I believe it includes it but anyway so so if we go to ford's website four doors so the base one starts at thirty three thousand dollars a big bend which is the second from the base one thirty five eight eighty black diamond thirty eight five forty five um, Outer Banks 41 450 Badlands which is the one that we're sitting in right now probably would be my choice if not the highest end model 44 590 uh, and then 46 4, 49 475 on the wild track model now wild track model would include the sasquatch package which would come standard 35s um, i'm not sure if that's the same 35s that are on this one uh, but uh, and then the first edition which is basically all sold out um you know was at 61 110 and that included the sasquatch package which is the off-road package lots of cool different options uh, you know if you're looking for one uh, a well first of all when I, before I started doing this video I looked at a couple different dealerships and they had different trim levels on it and I gotta tell you I was so not impressed with the base one that I almost like go like hey forget it I'm not gonna do a review on it because I don't want to really um, you know say bad things about the car because I really had high hopes for it uh, but anyways th this one right here as you could see beautiful color beautiful package I like the interior of it I like the exterior on it is it in range with the competition take a look at jeep rubicon i mean if you load it up just like the first edition is you're going to be in the 60s as well you know and not to mention that's not even going for you know the 392 which is probably 70s or 80s but you know that's a performance but that's a different story we might actually get that on our channel soon okay so 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 literally from the 30s to the 50s basically in line with the Jeep Wrangler because that's the only competition that it has. We tested it a little bit off-road and you know it, it were everyday regular car would get stuck in this mud. This one went in no problem. Now this is probably the least it can do. It can do a whole lot more. I'm gonna take it on the road. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the road although I driven it but without you and we're gonna conclude this video. But before we get on the road, I have to get out of this off-road thing. I gotta tell you, there's gonna be a lot of mud flying off these tires <laughs> once I get on the pavement. Oh, free to go. Yes. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> In the back, it looks like a tractor from farm tractor I actually got out I put it in too high <laughs> I mean let's switch the uh, let's switch this to uh, regular two-wheel drive and uh, check that out here you go switching to too high All right we don't need the four-wheel drive right now on here but uh, first of all, the first thing first, when you sit in this car, especially if it's listed, lifted like this, you feel like the king of the road. You sit up higher, you, you know, you see everything. It's, it's got really nice visibility, big windows, uh, wide 
vehicle but she can see those two little uh, handles right here that basically shows you that hey yes it can be done you know you can see the corners of this vehicle which is really really nice and important too at the same time so uh, that's one thing the the second thing you know acceleration it is a four-cylinder engine and I, and I was telling you I didn't check it before I got into the first time and I thought it was a six which is a good thing okay now we have it in the regular I don't want it in the Baja I want to have it in just a regular mode there you go now we shift it this is what we do on the expressway um, the seats are nice wide comfortable um, I mean I, I wish it had a little bit more maybe of this lumber support I think it would be easier for everybody but overall not too bad okay like I said visibility is nice pickup is good we're not gonna break any records if you can hear it though you can hear quite a bit of that wind noise um, you can see hear a little bit of the road noise but that's to be expected with those monster tires on it overall not too bad at all I think I would take this on a long trip rather than the Wrangler the Wrangler as beautiful as it is still one of my favorite cars in the world if i had the money i'd have both of them just so i can kind of do one on monday the other one on tuesday and so on and so forth but you know not at this point in my life again love these cars I'm very impressed with the bronco um, I think they did a tremendous job and Ford's been really really good and really aggressive with bringing up those vehicles from the past now the Broncos as you know they were made in the 60s right so 65 was the first Bronco produced and then they were produced till 1996 and then they stopped because at that time those big eight cylinders engines were not really the engines of choice the gas was expensive people started getting more into those mainstream SUVs basically the family holders with some of the off-road capabilities Jeep kind of survived in it because they always had the four and six cylinders they never had the eight cylinders up until now and you know so it was a little bit more gas efficient it was also a smaller vehicle and kind of rode that wave and never stopped making the Wrangler uh, Ford did for 25 years they didn't have it now they're back excellent job they also did it with the Mustang although if I tell the Mustang fanatic that they brought the Mustang back they'll probably crucify me because they don't really acknowledge the Mustang Mac E as a regular Mustang but that's a whole other video which I've done by the way on the Mustang Mac E and I was really impressed with this vehicle too so how does it drive beautiful for what it is and not in the bad way because somebody goes like oh, for what it is it's kind of a negative thing not in my terms okay in my terms for what it is simply means for this class of a vehicle it drives really nice uh, I would drive it every day I would have no problem with it whatsoever even with the four-cylinder engine although I'd love to check it out in the six too I think maybe that 30 horsepower uh, would be uh, would feel a little bit different well you know maybe another time when they get more of them on the road I'm sure I'm gonna have an opportunity to test out another one and I'll bring that to you so if you like watching videos like this guys consider checking out the rest of my channel hitting that subscribe and like button really helps me out a lot doesn't really cost you anything and I will see you in my next video cheers